Hello, I'm Christine Niles. Today's Friday, October 5th, 2018. Here are your latest church militant headlines. Supreme Court nominee Brett Kavanaugh's fate will be decided this weekend. In a procedural vote earlier today, the Senate voted 51 to 49 to end debate on Kavanaugh's nomination and advanced to a final confirmation vote as early as Saturday. Key swing Republicans Susan Collins and Jeff Flake voted yes to end debate, while Lisa Murkowski voted no. Democrat Joe Manchin, fighting for re-election in a heavily pro-Trump state, voted yes to Kavanaugh to proceed to the full Senate vote. A California bishop is kicking out young Orthodox Catholics from his listening sessions. At a second public meeting Wednesday with San Diego Bishop Robert McElroy, several young Catholics were thrown out, the diocese calling them mildly disruptive for asking about homosexual predation of seminarians. Even though people were told they could attend multiple listening sessions, when these young people tried to attend Wednesday's meeting, they were told they had to leave to make room for others before the diocese changed its story and said they were disruptive. The individuals thrown out are challenging the diocese's narrative. More than half of all U.S. bishops want Archbishop Viganò's allegations investigated. The new website, Church Transparency, is tracking how each American bishop has responded to Viganò's testimony that Pope Francis elevated serial sexual predator Cardinal Theodore McCarrick. Of the 150 bishops who've issued statements, 81 support an investigation, 64 are neutral, and just five are opposed. In a meeting with top U.S. cardinals in Rome last month, Pope Francis rejected their request for an investigation into Viganò's claims. A California sex abuse victim is suing the Vatican. Manny Vega filed suit in federal court Wednesday to force the Holy See to open the files of more than 3,400 predator priests worldwide. Vega also wants the identities of all Vatican officials who are complicit in sex abuse cover-up, including cardinals, bishops, and religious superiors. Planned Parenthood is threatening senators who vote for Judge Brett Kavanaugh. In a tweet yesterday, Planned Parenthood wrote, quote, Roses are red, violets are blue, senators vote no on Kavanaugh or else we're coming for you. Many see the threat as legitimate since Republicans like Ted Cruz and Congressman Steve Scalise have been publicly harassed and attacked by progressive activists. I'm Christine Niles. Those are your church militant headlines. Please watch The Vortex today. Michael talks about crunch time. And check out the download. The panel discusses a synod of confusion. God bless you.